The Ford stand is dominated by three examples of its new edge design policy that we first saw come into action with the good old curvy car, followed by the Ford Puma, which of course has been a great hit on British roads at the moment. And the latest example is over here, it's called the MC2. And many people think that if you look closer, it will give you a very good idea of what Ford's big brother to the Puma, the Cougar, will look like when it comes out next year. Ford have moved away to something totally different and you've been responsible for the new edge design. What did you want to achieve with this? Did you really want to shock people into looking at Ford again, do you think? No, obviously I don't want to shock the people, I want to please the people. Uh, if you remember, you know, 10, 15 years ago we start with the aero design on some uh, European and American cars and everybody follow us at the time. So we thought several years ago there was time to change and to become the leaders again from in a new trend and we create edge design. There's a very definite style to edge design. Where have you drawn inspirations from? What were you looking at? Well, we're looking at, let's say, edge design could be explained in three words. Simplicity, quality and precision. We find out that by underlining some of the features very firmly with an edge, uh, we could improve the, the quality of the sheet metal, the quality of the fit and finish, and also give the car a lot more personality. So that is the reason why we did it. Now, I know you, you, talk about your, your, you talk about words there and you say that you're aiming for simplicity, things like that. But there must be visual images that you, you drew upon you know, when you were looking at all these lines, looking to create things. What have you drawn from the history of, of cars and from things that you like in general? Maybe art around you, maybe books. You know, what, 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 sort of what things do you look at physically? Well, we look, we, we look the environment, you know, lo, you look the new building, the architectures, you look also the new, let's say, features in, uh, in kitchen utensils, in TVs, in radios, in motorbikes, in everything. And you see that the, 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 the style changed, the people have had a certain evolution and I think you have to come with it. You cannot stay always with the same thing. On the other side, we wanted to give our cars a more distinct personality and by playing with graphics and clean lines uh, around the headlamps, tail lamps and sometimes DLO body side then you give those cars you know a personality that people aspire to. They certainly do have personalities they almost seem to smile out to you at the moment which surprises me in a way because I know in particular the Puma was designed on computer in 35 days do you not think that takes away from some of the heart and the soul of the vehicle? Well there was 130, 135 <laughs> days no 35 days uh, well the Puma was done ever on the computer but we are working only on computers since many many years at Ford and we have a very good and very efficient design process on that. Uh, I wouldn't tell you the recipe but uh, I could tell you the ingredients. Oh, go on. I won't no, tell no. Um, and obviously we want to have our cars with personality but inviting personality. We want them to smile at you, not to become toys but something serious but inviting. And that is one thing that we can do by treating headlamps and grill in a certain way. And I think we achieved that on the car, we achieved that on the Puma. Uh, the MC2 that you saw downstairs is also something like that. And you will be surprised when you see the new Escort. Yeah, the MC2 that you've just briefly mentioned there is um, it's a design study, it's a concept, isn't it? But how closely will Cougar, when we see that next year, how closely will that resemble MC2? It will be very, very close to the MC2. We will have some small differences uh, because of feasibility and because of cost and also over homologation. The, for example, the headlamps that we are showing on the MC2, they are not yet homologated, they are not yet legal. So we will have to come back to a more legal type of headlamps like Puma or whatever. But the car is very, very close to the reality. Are you governed an awful lot by regulations and by rules? Would you, are there are many t occasions when you would like to do so much more but you can't do? Yes, um, mainly if you do a global car, you have to fulfill the regulation from the States, from Japan and from Europe. 
and even within Europe, we have 14 different regulations, for example, the way that you have to light the license plate at the rear. <laughs> what else can you tell me about Cougar? What can we expect from it next year? Well, Cougar will be a very exciting and dynamic sports car. Uh, it certainly will, for some of the Ford customers, remember of the Capri of the 70s. The boy races. Uh, not more than a boy racer. It will be a very nice, sophisticated, dynamic car, and I'm sure that it will be a success. And what about the new Escort? Can you get that photograph out of your pocket and show me what it's really going to look like? Because you can't tell from these spy shots. Unfortunately, I don't have the <laughs> photograph on the Escort in my pocket. I only have my wife and my children here. Uh, but you will be very surprised when you see the Escort, and I'm sure that it will be also a very good success. I'm very pleased having seen the new, let's say, Astra and uh, the new uh, Xera, I think, from Citroën. I think with the Escort, we will have a very, very good product on the market next year. It looks to me as if it's going to be a very radical change from um, the old Escort and from looking at what you've been doing recently, I'm sure that will be true. Is there not a conflict there between upsetting traditional Ford buyers who may love the Escort just the way they are and it, it all may be a bit too radical for them? The Escort will not be too radical. It's a good evolution of some of the design cues that we have had on the car, that we have on the Puma, that we show on the MC2. It's not a radical design, it's radical in terms of package, of where we treat the materials, the way we dress up the, the vehicle, but it's not radical. It's not, as, it's not as bad as the spy photos. The spy photos are completely wrong. The, the real car is really beautiful.